Hi, this is Jim Williams with the Golf Channel Swing Fix. This is another installment of our weekly blog on how to play better golf on the golf course. Great idea, right? So when we practice a lot, the whole point of practicing is to play better out there. So one of the things I believe strongly in as a teacher, and a lot of you out there have heard of this, and a lot of teachers believe in this, is the idea of random practice. That just means simulating the golf course on the driving range. Taking one club, hitting one shot, picking a different club, hitting another shot. And what better way to do that than to imagine the golf course as you're going to play it. So I'm going to play my club today here, Old Natchez Country Club. And I'm going to start off on the 10th hole. The 10th hole is a par 4. It's about 400 yards. But there's a huge monster tree in the right center of the fairway, about 200 yards off the tee. And I like to hit driver here. So my shot on this hole is a cut. So I'm going to try to rehearse on the range this shot as my first shot of the day. So this is the key for those of you out there that have trouble sometimes coming from the driving range to the course. Is you see a big wide range like this and you're pounding balls and you're hitting away and you think you're hitting it great, right? You get on the first tee and all of a sudden that big wide open space is about a third of that size and all of a sudden you go, oh boy, I've got to hit the ball right down the middle of the fairway or something like that. And you're not used to practicing targeting your pre-shot routine or hitting the shot that the hole calls for. And again, random practice allows you to do that. So let me walk you through this, exactly what it means. So I'm going to get behind here on the range. I'm going to imagine the 10th hole in my mind. I'm going to see that big tree out there in my mind a couple hundred yards out. And my goal here is to start the ball left of the tree, fade it back into somewhere in the middle of the fairway, right? So what I'm going to do on the range is I'm going to get behind. I'm going to imagine this, this hole. I'm going to see the tree in my head. And I'm going to try to start the ball toward this blue flag over here, just to the left of my ultimate target line. This is the key. When I walk into the shot, what I want to do is aim my club face left of the tree, okay? I don't want to aim it at my target because I'll hit it in the tree. I want to aim my club face left of the tree, and then I want to swing a little bit more to the left than my club face. That's what puts the side tilt to the ball and curves it back or veers it back to the right, and this is really important. So if you're trying to cut the ball or draw the ball, you've got to start the ball on the line around the trouble. So what I'm going to do is get back here like this, and in my mind, I'm hitting this shot now in my head. I'm going to visualize the shot, and then I'm going to set up so the club is left of the tree, and I'm going to swing my body, or my club line, a little more left than that, and I'm going to try to get the ball to curve around the tree. So I'm visually thinking about what I'm doing, and then I'm going to go ahead and do it. So here we go. Club face a little bit left of the tree, swing a little more left, Perfect. Ball started at the blue, veered right back into the middle of the fairway. Believe it or not, that's exactly what happened. So I love that shot. So what I'm doing is I'm practicing on the range. That came off exactly perfect. That gives me confidence. I feel like if I can hit that shot here, why can't I hit it out there? All right, so let's take this one step further. Let's say I've got about, you know, 110 yards in, okay? That's about what I would have there. Years ago, I'd have had about 70 yards in, but that's another story. I got a sand wedge, okay? So now I'm sitting here with my sand wedge. I'm thinking to myself, all right, birdie time, right? Green light time, sand wedge, middle of the fairway. I want to take a good aggressive line, hopefully, at the flag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim this around here a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and go right at this yellow flag here. It's about 95 to 100 yards. I'm going to hit it just over the flag. And I'm going to rehearse a shot that I said earlier is 110 yards. That's almost a full sand wedge for me. I'm going to set up to it get the feeling for what I want to do. So in my mind, I'm seeing this shot. I'm feeling a nice tight little draw, which is my normal ball flight. And I'm going to see the ball going right, hopefully right in the cup, okay? But it's a real positive image. So here we go. One tee shot, now I'm in the fairway. I'm going to knock it down for birdie. Little rehearsal move. a little bit thin just to the back of the green but no harm there about 15 feet coming back down the hill I like that shot it wasn't perfect but again I'm putting pressure on myself on the range I didn't really like that second shot but what I want to feel here is that now I got to go up and make my putt try to get two putts and get out for the next hole so this is the way you do random practice this is how you get better you get on the range you put yourself in this situation on the range so that when you get on the golf course, it seems more natural to you. So good luck with this.